all right welcome back everyone uh after that last video i uh noticed i didn't point out a few things so uh how the grain gets out of this bin so um we're actually loading out corn today so uh we'll just show you how the corn gets out of the bin um Kind of been under the weather here, so trying to get out and get out of here and do a few other odd jobs here, but let's get going. Let me get these fans shut off so uh get rid of some noise on here. Alright, this bin does have a false floor in it, I guess we'll say. You know, here's the concrete slab. This road boat's here is supporting a second floor in there. So there's about a foot air gap here. I mean, you can tell this is hollow here. So the corn starts up here. So that's where all the fans are blowing air underneath this corn. This floor is perforated and then the air blows up through it. And once we get this bin empty, uh, get down to that floor, we'll see it. But, uh, That also allows this 10 inch auger to go underneath that floor. It goes exactly dead center of this floor. And I don't know, you want to call it a sump or call it a door, but it does have a gate in there uh, to shut the corn on and off or the grain, so. But 10 inch auger pulled out. We're just using our transport auger here. 80 foot transport auger it's the same auger we put corn in the bin with a little bit of an overkill for loadout but you just use what you got some days so uh see if this truck is centered up get it started and uh we'll get started loading it this is the farm's original truck this is the first semi we bought a 99 sterling uh we bought it in 2002 with 140,000 miles on it so it's had a rough life on this farm we've had it hooked to a couple different trailers and uh i've got some pictures i might be able to post on here but uh Uh, we're still showing uh, 492,000 miles on it. So it's old, but ain't got a lot of miles, but it's been some rough miles. We pull 35 foot uh, steel frame dump trailers. Uh, the 80 inch sides, the tall sided dump trailers. These are heavy. Uh, I mean, our empty weights, 33,000, 34,000. This one here with a triaxle, we're getting up at 36,000 on it. Uh, we haul a lot and a lot of turkey litter that gets dumped in the field. So we need the capacity for the turkey litter, but with the steel frame, this one come out of a coal mines out of West Virginia. Actually, uh, this one come out of Virginia. This one here did. So uh, we thought the triaxle would be a little more stable. Uh, for dumping in the field, so that's kind of why we're running it for now. If we want to, we can always modify and cut this front axle off and make it just a tandem and lighten it up some if we don't think the triaxle is doing what we needed to. So, but you definitely do not fill this trailer full of corn. 
or somebody's not going to like you. So, but for uh, like I said, hauling turkey manure, you can round it up. So now we got to see if this old tractor starts. You've seen it in a couple of the videos. I've had it started twice today, so it should fire right up. We got this trailer here rigged with a uh, electric tarp. He's got a uh, wireless remote in the cab to uh, operate it. Um, lazy. Yeah, it can be lazy, but uh, like I said, we get on turkey manure. Sometimes we're hauling seven or eight loads a day, just as hard as we can go. And uh, that's dad's truck and trailer there, the one he runs with the age he's got. So uh, keeps him in the truck and saves his knees a little bit and uh, crawling in and out. So we just preloaded this one this evening for tomorrow. He'll go park it 
and I think he'll bring the other truck over but uh, this Sterling's running a 500 horsepower N14 Cummins in it so uh, it does get down the road pretty good but uh, I would like to update it one of these days running a 10 speed transmission We bought this Sterling originally back in 2002 to uh, haul pigs with. Uh, we had a custom made livestock trailer. We oversized the trailer for the truck we had at the time. So we never could get our trailer sized right with the truck. I mean, it was just either the trailer was too big or the truck was too big, either or back and forth. So. But uh, the one semi worked good for us. And I don't know, probably three years ago, I guess, uh, we bought the second semi. Uh, we got to haul a lot of turkey litter. Got a lot of grain to haul, so uh, we put the second semi on. And uh, it's been a huge benefit, so. Hopefully he'll get it fired up, get over here, we'll get it loaded. Uh, we got a hard hand that drives it most of the time. Um, just like a part-time hard hand, so. That unloading auger, dang it echoes in there. Unloading auger on this bin. You see me turn the breakers on and off for it. We're having trouble getting what they're calling a starter for it. So I guess that's using like what I've been told, using a low voltage switch to start these high voltage three phase motors. Um, we was hoping to put the controls out here like a on off button out here to control it. But uh, means we're having trouble getting the components we need. We're just using the breakers. Um, same way on that roof auger and the spreader inside. So uh, we're just using the breakers. It's not the proper way to do it, but it is getting us by this year. So hopefully some of these supply issues will straighten up this summer. And uh, we can finish getting this thing wired up uh, the correct way before uh, harvest of 22 starts here. Traffic jam out in the countryside, that ain't very often.
<clears throat> this truck here is a 2010 Volvo. It's got a 450 horse ISX Cummins in it with the 10 speed. Pulling also the 35 foot Benson steel frame dump trailer. But this one here is a tandem axle. But it also come out of the uh, Virginia or West Virginia coal fields over there. So I'm sure both trailers had a rough life, but uh, they don't get an easy life here either. So, but uh, dual purpose for us, we can uh, haul gravel, haul lime, haul our turkey litter and haul grain we just wash it out in between ideally i'd like to see like a belt trailers or a live bottom trailers for hauling turkey litter so we ain't raising these things up in the air on unstable ground <coughs> and then probably pulling like hopper bottoms on the uh, grain but uh, that all takes cash to make it happen so we're going to do what works for us right now and this is this is what we're set up to run so well that's how we get corn loaded out of the bin um i did find an sd card that had two or three short clips on it from uh bin construction i'm gonna tag him here at the end and then like i said i think i've got some pictures of the sterling and a couple of the other trailers we had. Oh, what I'm going to say, it was in its heyday when we first got it. And so, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get them answered. Thanks for the support of the channel. And uh, we'll keep things rolling here. See you guys on the next one. Thank you.